So we move on then to analyzing Belfast Confetti, an excellent poem, brilliant use of structure and um, a great play with punctuation in this one. So we start with the title, uh, as we should. Obviously, Belfast Confetti here is a very ironic title because confetti is supposed to be uh, a mark of celebration, a mark of happiness, you know, something that people are actually enjoying. Uh, and then obviously what follows, you know, the, the, during the wedding and obviously the honeymoon, etc., is supposed to be kind of glorious and happy. But obviously it's being used ironically here because everything that kind of it rains down on them is um, agony inducing and terrible. And obviously what follows in his treatment and obviously the troubles in Northern Ireland or, uh, that, that stems from events such as this uh, is, is really poor as well. So we, uh, so no, yeah, the irony of the title. So we go to the very first thing and it opens very dramatically in the fact that it uses the word suddenly and, uh, you know, this is very unique for this, for the, well, it's very unique amongst the poems we're doing in this um, cluster anyway, simply because, you know, it puts us right in the middle of the action, you know, and we've just got to kind of get on board with with the uh, disorientation of the writer straight away and also it tells us a lot about the life at the time that um, you know there was a sort of constant violence and danger in Northern Ireland obviously and this could be a daily daily event a daily occurrence um, then we've got the punctuation used as an image you know it's a really interesting feature of the structure here you know the, just after he mentions rapid fire we've got these three uh, sorry, we've got these three full stops, which kind of show like, you know, bullets or gunfire, like bam, 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 just kind of coming off um, there. And obviously the punctuation throughout it actually just really controls the pace, especially towards the second half where it's kind of very bitty and the confusion is actually becoming more and more um, intense. You know, obviously here he's, he knows he just has to get away from this. But then as he actually tries to get away, you know, he just starts to be trapped. And you can see that there's a lot more punctuation here. Um, you know, it's just very short sentences and, and, the, and the full stops are kind of holding him in. Um, so that's that's a really interesting reference there. Um, yes, which is exactly what I was saying. So the short sentences here, are obviously where he gets closed in and um, the ending here that's really interesting is not actually his so he's actually asked you know what's his name where am I coming from where am I going so basically the voice that's coming through to us here is obviously the um, the, the the British officers who are actually holding him in place interrogating him and that's really interesting because it kind of shows that the you know the solution to this problem isn't really in his hands not to say it's in the hands of the the British at all it's just that there's not much he can do about it you know he's in his hometown yet he's being asked where's he from where's he going and obviously that's very strange because in one's hometown you know they're, they're supposed to be at a free and at will to do as they wish um, you know within 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 rights but here you know he stopped and he's treated like the foreigner um, and that's probably alludes to some of the ideas of his um, his disorientation throughout and um you know, the, the idea of his confusion, confusion and it obviously stuttering here, not being able to kind of complete, complete, sorry, exactly what it is he wants to do, not just what he wants to say. Um, and again, I think I've oh no, we mentioned this as well. This is uh, the structures obviously in real time, you know, he kind of the explosion happens. The riot squads move in. He starts, you know, all the, um, the nuts and bolts are all flying around, obviously just settling. And he just tries to get away, get away. But everything starts to close in on him, etc. And uh, so it's that happens within a couple of minutes and it's, it's a really interesting kind of when I say real time I don't mean to the second I just mean like we're, we're getting a snapshot of a moment like captured in there through this um, through this uh, monologue so we move on then to the meaning um, so obviously we've got the idea of the violence and the danger obviously the riot squads coming in obviously the riot squads aren't, aren't known for just being easy handed but then moreover the um, the uh, the bomb that's blown up and all the stuff you know the homemade bomb that's blown up and all the stuff that's actually just kind of flown out of it um, the explosion you know leaves a big mark you know in the ground where it's actually exploded etc and obviously there's the, the, the rapid fire of perhaps guns in, 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 um, alongside etc so again all of that is violence and danger and that's something he's trying to get away with uh another meaning we've got in here i wouldn't say he's blaming um or he's the, at least the the illusion to you know obviously he's saying responsibility perhaps but not an outright blaming of he's um he, he actually re remembers you know all the places um which are streets obviously sorry the the last one at least the last two are definitely streets but here he's referencing the um other periods or other times where british colonial forces also had uh, um sorry people and Obviously, that was a general and a field marshal, and uh, obviously places where the British colonial forces have actually waged war and battle, etc., uh, with disastrous results for people. Um, and you know, perhaps that's his comment on the situation in uh, in Northern Ireland. Obviously, he, maybe he sees it as a British problem. 
Uh, you'll have to read more about the writer's politics to 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 come to your own decision uh, about that. Um, then we have the idea, the meaning, the feeling of disorientation the whole way through, and that's clear to us in the fact that you know he can't gather his steps together sorry can't gather his ideas together of what he wants to do and so he's just kind of moving away maybe it's just a sentence you know what he thinks about this initially or what he wants to, as well as what he wants to do and then everywhere's kind of stopped and blocked off to him um so he doesn't you know he can't get to where he actually wants to go and though he knows this labyrinth so well and obviously all the all the places named he can't escape he doesn't know what he's gonna he doesn't know what he he can do because every move is being held together or held from him by someone else and every time he tries to go down somewhere then he's at a dead end again and obviously the reference there to um the crimea is a battle that didn't end very well um for the british um well, again, the idea of uh, the response, uh, it comes through to us as well. And I think that's important, even though it might be slightly more of a secondary idea or thing that's coming through, is um, it's, it's just the idea that, you know, governments and or people in power, uh, people in control have to respond to whatever it is that's going on. And, you know, we see this response being immediate. So there's an idea of trying to keep the peace or at least trying to marshal or trying to, you know, catch criminals or however you want to put it, whichever side of the fence that you, 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 you're you looking at this from. So obviously the riot squad come in and then they close off all these places and they start naming, you know, asking the person. So it's, um, it's very faceless and nameless and distant when it's the riot squad, you know, he can get away from them. And then as they actually close up his own city to him you know it becomes more confining and then finally you know he's kind of put up against the wall and asked you know where are you coming from where are you going and what's your name so it's it's, it's again just showing the idea of the, the response of the government uh and and, and obviously what they did uh, so, and again it's, it's inviting us to think about the um you know this is a common daily theme uh, with the troubles in northern ireland uh, when we look then at the images were presented, well, we've got the shrapnel, obviously all the things flying around um, through the explosion. Obviously, it is put to us as it's raining, exclamation marks. We've got the idea of the guy being lost and trapped in the images in that he's lost in terms of you know in his mind you know he can't really make a head nor sense of this as it goes and he doesn't know which the which which way is best to go because everywhere he goes he finds he, he stopped etc and um you know he actually used the word he can't escape and every time he tries to do anything you know he's punctuated and actually trapped there so that's uh, do sorry that's satisfying those two and then the images i think this is really just a really great play on words you know he's got all these um all these um uses of punctuation in uh, using them as, as shapes to actually talk about how he's being held and I just want to break and talk about that for a minute what that could be especially because he talks about the fount of broken type most of it's exclamation marks but here we've got the fount of broken type as well so the idea could be that what we're looking at is communication trouble you know the breakdown in communication that happened time and time and time again and that's really what is stopping us here so the lack of communication in a way has caused all this blockage you know the, the literal lack of communication you know not being able to actually discuss things properly is causing all this um you know, punctuation um, deluge everywhere else in the explosion and the roadblocks, etc., etc. And that, that could be uh, an idea of what he's actually saying. And he uses the, I think that's why he uses the, or you could argue that's why he uses, should I say, the punctuation here, because we've got the exclamation mark and we've got the uh, full stops and colons, obviously kind of the shape of the barricades that are actually being put up. And uh, we've got the the explosion is an asterisk on the map, um, hinting that this could be an anomaly or, you know, leading to a footnote in in, in, in communication obviously things that haven't been discussed or actually analyzed uh, sorry discussed or excuse me agreed upon um there definitely is something in that and i would i would uh, go further with that line of inquiry it is it is really it is really interesting uh, so we move on then to language uh, and obviously we've got this whole the whole list here of uh, you know uh, battles and wars and streets you know it's kind of interplay on the words uh, again it's kind of mentioning history it's mentioning you know key players and it's mentioning you know that it's all kind of been brought to brought brought to him on his on his home turf and i think that's really interesting as well because it's kind of showing that this is historic historically a problem you know it's never kind of been like a the british colonial empire was never you know one of just kind of peace and tranquility has always had something to do with kind of um war and obviously overcoming stuff but you know how do you build an empire without doing that um the idea of the fount yes so that's a kind of alluded you know i've kind of touched upon this already but the fount here obviously there's somewhere where it's 
emanating from or obviously just something splurging out in like a fountain of so here we can have this the broken type and that's the key element i think to the lack of communication or the breakdown in communication so here you know the the breakdown in communication has resulted in this or this is resulting in a breakdown of communication whichever way you want to look at it but that broken type so you can imagine all the words you know of kind of peace processes and just priest pro, uh, sorry peace process and discussions that politicians were having or that people were saying and obviously that just exploding um, you know just being broken and now there's there's uh, the word, words words in this situation are, are quite quite useless um, and yeah obviously the uh, use of punctuation um, throughout kind of like I mentioned earlier just kind of holds us in uh, kind of keeps us penned up so what kind of effect does this have on well, actually one more thing I want to point out in our language is this one here dead end again and obviously that's not only a reference to him trying to escape this get out of it but trying to get out the whole situation in terms of you know the troubles you know when is this going to end how is this going to stop how is this going to come to a conclusion so every time you know the the peace talks when you hear it on the news actually says that we've got you know we go to another dead end so it's in, uh, so it, sometimes that they were used to say that you know you come to another dead end and obviously there, there there's been a, st a stall in um, communications and negotiations etc and obviously that's alluding there to the petition of that as well not just the fact that he can't get out of here but that the, the country as a whole can't get out of this situ situation and uh, the commu communicating isn't really cutting it um so we move on then to the effect of the reader well obviously it gives uh, some insight into the daily life during the troubles and obviously how people had to live and obviously the way they had to actually try and um shape themselves especially with this last one you know everyone you know just under suspicion and everyone's you know being questioned and interrogated etc um and then it, we've got the sense of him being trapped and obviously you get that from obviously all the way through like we've said many times about the punctuation and obviously his um his his, his recounting of it but in the last section with the questions as well it's important to note that here he's trapped in his own city and that's different than just being you know trapped abroad trapped somewhere else being trapped in your own city must have a huge psychological effect on you because obviously you can't move freely where you are you know you can't have like a safe space to call your own there that's obviously going to be hugely hugely problematic and uh, also gives the idea of life under surveillance because there's no way that a, a riot you know team or a government could actually kind of you know just haphazardly put this in there's a whole section of um, procedures in place you know if anything like this happens then you know these are the following the following things are actually going to happen uh, the following things are actually going to occur so it actually keeps the people well under surveillance and um that's again an insight into life during the troubles and uh yeah really really original poem <laughs>